They also win the award for best football entrance ever. The green smoke, I kept thinking like the Riddler was going to come out or something. Heating it up on a cold Friday night, Lee Davis, their opponent, they played him just two weeks ago. And the Confederates waste no time. Touchdown pass puts them on the board. They're up 7 0. Lee Davis, the sixth seed. Henrichel, the three seed, coming in. Warriors offense prolific in this one, however. The pass, the catch, Justin Good is all good. Same drive, second quarter. Quarterback, I don't know how he gets it off, and I don't know how it's caught, but Dejon Anthony, who was the hero against Lee Davis last time they met, with four picks in that game, he comes up big with a touchdown catch. We're all nodded up at seven. The Lee Davis Confederate second quarter, their offense was working wonders, and Warriors didn't have an answer. The touchdown run right there. The Sea Feds back up on top, 14 to seven in the second quarter. And they weren't done yet either this time. Looking, looking, firing inside, setting up the screen pass. It's gonna work and pay dividends. Deep in the Warrior territory. First down, Lee Davis. Chance to go up two scores before the half and now they will do just that. The field goal is good, 17 to seven. Now I don't know what the coach, Coach Glasgow said to Henrico at halftime, but I think his players listen because third quarter, quarterback, it's Jalen Atkins. He connects with number 11, Rashid Action Jackson for the touchdown. And Reichel back in it at 17-14. They've drawn close. Meanwhile, the defense, I think they got it talking to. They were stuffing the run, and they also got the rock. Lee Davis fumbles, and Reichel recovers, and they would make it pay off as well. The catch all the way down inside the two yard line. It's Action Jackson, Rashid again. Look at this. The short touchdown plunge. Yeah, that ball gets over. And Henrico. Tyrell Allison now has a 21 17 lead. And they were just getting warmed up, folks. More defense. In the backfield, that plays going absolutely nowhere. Joey Jefferson in the backfield on the stop, and then Warriors got the ground game going too. I talked a lot about Verona using a lot of different players to have success against Bird, and I could do the same thing against Lee Davis. That was a long carry by Ellison, and then again, I don't know how he does it. Lawrence Chambers, long distance, somehow finds his receiver. And when you're right, you're right. Jahad Carter with a touchdown catch, 28-17. The Henrico Warriors would go on a run in the second half thanks to their defense and their offense, both sides of the ball. You get the sack right there. Here comes a man running free, and it would open it up for the outside edge rushers. LeVar Teal making the sack right there. Henrico goes on a 38 to nothing run, and this is part of it. Where is it? Where is it? Well, there he is. Lawrence Chambers of Secrets. It's no secret how good he's been for Henrico all year long. That's good for the touchdown. 35-17. How about 42? Yeah, running in into the end zone. All Henrico on this night is Tyrell Ellison would find Pater again. See, that would make it 34-17. Then we will get up to the 40s. Going deep, Chambers again. Nobody wins one-on-one -on -one coverage like Henrico. Jahad Carter with a big catch. It would lead to this, another rushing touchdown. This time, number 16 gets it done, Devontae Hayden. 42-17 at that point, and it's time to get your groove on, because you're dancing on, Henrico. Moving on to the next round, 45-31.